you know, as we talk about linking up, one of the greatest skills that they said is important today is the art of collaboration, right? People don't know how to work with each other today, right? And that's really what been one of my greatest skills, my ability to pull together people, right, and work with them and to get things done that normally would not have been done, right? And that allowed me to be able to travel around the world and to build and do things that one person may say, well, 19 Keys is black Muslim consciousness. I don't know, that's too radical. But when I collaborate with my brother, you know what I'm saying, he can get into doors that I can't get in. And any doors that I can't get in, I open that for him. And so now we can increase each other's wealth just through the art of collaboration, right? And so this is why I always want people of different uh, backgrounds and people who are my peers. I'm like, yo, come to the show or let's do this together. Like, I'm always that person that's coming up with an idea of something that we can build together. And I don't do it in the times where we need each other. I do it in times where we up, right? And that's completely different. Because when somebody hitting you and they down, no, nah, that's desperation. You understand me? But when they hitting you, you know they up and you know they doing good. And like you still want to work together. That's authenticity, right? And so you have to learn the art of collaborating and, and building relationships. Because I think some people day one, they be like, yo, bro, so I got this show or this, or this. Like, come on, I don't even know you, bro. <laughs> like... You got to relax. You know what I'm saying? You got at least three points of contact before you can start to create an air of familiarity with somebody, right? And then you have to learn to serve the people that you're trying to work with or for, right? And most people don't know how to insert themselves and be a value in the situation. So when you learn how to assess what a person has going on and you're saying that this is how I can make you some money or this is how I can grow your enterprise or this is what you may be missing. Let me just do the work. Most of the people that I'm working with right now are people that I have long-term relationship with or people that did the work before I asked them to and it was good work and I'm like, yo, I need you on the team. Like, now you realize, like, I, 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 you just showed me something that I need. I'm not going to go without it, right? There's this African brother here in Nigeria, man. He be stealing all my videos. And he, I, I seen him on, the, on YouTube and they getting like 100,000 views. <laughs> You know, at first I was going to pull him, you know what I'm saying? Like, he got me messed up. But I realized, like, no, let me reach out to him and hire him. Because, you know, he was doing better than my team. Shout out to the team. But <laughs> he had a different level of creativity. His thumbnails was raw. He had a picture of me, my shirt off. You know what I'm saying? It had like 200,000. I said, bro, work it. So, you know, I hit him up, and I'm like, we need you on the team. And now he about to run the YouTube channel. But he created his job. Right, 70 to 90 percent of the jobs in the future ain't been created yet. Right, what they say about AI is not gonna take your job. It's somebody that's gonna use AI that will. When you see these jobs being laid off at all these companies, because they don't need them no more. If they can decrease human error and increase effectiveness in their bottom line at their business, then you will replace your staff with AI as well. Right, and so for me though, I feel like, or I know rather. If we really want to win as a culture, and Dame talks about this a lot, and that's really aligned with my values, and I say core values a lot because I really want you all to think about your top five before you leave out of here so that anything you do, you have to do, and it has to be aligned with that, right? So when you set up your goals and you set up your life and you look at your path, you look at your relationships, you look at your friends, your environment, if it's not aligned with your top five, don't do it, right? That means you have to restructure your life because otherwise you'll never get to where you really want to be. Right? Because there's some people that, that die from stress trying to go against themselves. Right? Because what you're doing is not aligned with who you are. So I don't believe in finding purpose. I believe in realizing self. The more knowledge of self you have, the easier it is to customize a life that's worth living. Right? So I study myself on a daily basis. That's how I can speak. That's how I can communicate. That's how I can build with others so that I can be of a, a constant value. Right? Today, everybody has to build a brand. Everybody should build a business. They say 50% of the workforce is now working for themselves. The other 50% going to have to figure out that it's going to be their time to work for themselves as well. So as Dame tell people to fire your job, right, and become your boss, that's not a privilege anymore. That's a necessity. Your job that you have right now will be taken over. It's just a matter of time. Right? And this is called the great de-skilling of the world. Things are changing. They're already here. So what will you do when you no longer need it? It's going to create this feeling of like, damn, I don't feel a purpose. I don't feel a reason to be alive. But 
I think it's a good thing because it's going to push people out of positions of doing things that robots can do. Let that robot do it. Do something that only a human being can do. Think well, creatively. The, think the, critically. The thing that, about, to me, is the power. The thing about having AI now is that you could have a staff to make your dreams come true for mm -hmm. cheap. So instead of working for somebody, you could have AI working for you for nothing. Right. So it's about reversing that narrative. Again, when something new presents itself, you have to look at the W in it, not the loss. Not what's taken from you, but the opportunities that present themselves. And usually, the evolution of technology is better for us if we realize how much real physical labor do we want to do. And again, you have to be able to visualize that dream to put it in a product so that you could use AI to help you to sell it. But if you don't have a product to sell, if you don't have nothing to make, then you're not a made man. It's not gangster to be telling people how to be gangster if you don't have nothing to sell yourself. So you have to figure out what you could be unapologetic about as it relates to your point of view and have that all into a product and then ask AI how to sell it. You could even tell AI, yo, I'm gangster at this, that, and the third. What mm -hmm. product could I make behind that and how do I market it? So AI is making it where instead of having a job, you could be a boss. But in general, the only thoughts that you should be thinking in is boss. Mm -hmm. It's boss or nothing. It's I win or nothing. It's my kids, kids win or nothing. And what is the path to get to that? A bill could be paid late as long as in the future your children and your children's children's bills are not. And that's all that matters. Because if you've survived what's ever going on now, then you're good. It's your job to be strategic, to architect what you want the people you love to feel. Thinking about the people you love, it's like you have to be selfish to think about how to help others because you can't help nobody unless you can help yourself. If you have to pay a bill late to help somebody, then to me that's an oxymoron. That shouldn't happen. It should be as easy as you got a bill, let me buy you a house, and it doesn't hurt. But you got to be selfish in your dreams to get to that point. Sorry about cutting you off. That was an extension. It's cool. I was going to say that. You going to say exactly that? Yeah, I was going to say it was word for word. No, because before we got here, I said, AI, if, if Dane Dash cut me off when I say this, what would he say? And it said that AI exactly. AI told you that? Yeah, it told me how to prompt a response from you. So I just been stuck. Actually, AI I told you I was going to do that. Yeah. You're doing something with James Dash, he's going to cut you off. Yeah, he told me that for sure. After you for five straight minutes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so it said just sit there inquisitively while he do it, and it's going to be smooth. So. black people black conversations that benefit black people for the sake of black people.